Welcome to season one of the Animal Highlights. In this first season, we highlight animals in relation to the urban, and it's been extracted from season three of the Animal Turn podcast. In this third episode, we focus in on rats, who are super fascinating and very well-known urban animals. Welcome to the Animal Highlight. In today's highlight, I'm going to be talking about rats. But before I start rambling about how amazing rats are, I thought I'd read a short excerpt from the book Flies, Bedbugs, Cockroaches and Rats, Pests in the City by Dawn Day Beeler. One of her chapters is focused entirely on rats. And the opening, the opening page of this chapter is kind of an excerpt about rats during the Great Depression in the United States. Okay, here we go. This is my first time ever reading on a podcast, so wish me luck. A Norway rat emerged from his burrow as dusk fell over Baltimore's east side on an early spring evening in 1937. The air carried a scent of food, as well as scents of people, dogs and cats. The high board wooden fence surrounding the backyard provided reliable shelter from these minor threats, despite its ramshackle condition, perhaps because of it. The rat's grey-brown fur brushed against the fence as he trotted along it, retracing the greasy line left a few inches above the ground by generations of his kin. He poked his nose under the fence, testing the space with his sensitive whiskers. His whiskers barely grazed the boards, signalling to him that he had more than enough room to pass through. On the other side, the rat found the neighbour's back stairs, atop which sat a bucket of kitchen scraps, its contents lean in these hard times, waiting to be dumped in a busted wooden barrel by the alley. The rat had seen this bucket there before. If he had not, he would have approached much more tentatively. His wariness serves him well. New objects in the environment could be traps or poisons. One of the larger rats on the block, he easily reached the first step with his front paws and bounded up crooked wooden stairs until he reached the bucket and tipped it over. Another large male rat joined him, and the two licked juice from crab shells and nibbled at the tiny scraps of meat left inside. Suddenly, the light came on in the kitchen, and a small dog barked from inside the back screen door. Startled, the rats reared up and squealed. The dog retreated, and the rats fled. They jumped down to the ground, scurried across the yard, and squeezed under the fence and into the alley. Many of the block's 200-some rats departed their burrows after sunset to eat, drink, and mate. Across the alley, a pregnant female lapped at a tub where rain had collected during the morning shower. She had given birth to five litters of six to nine young in the past year, but many of her pups died from disease, starvation, or predation. A young rat peeked out from under the rotted and gnawed bottom of a privy shed door and ducked back inside upon seeing a cat peering down from the back porch. Large adult rats had little to fear from dogs or cats, however. Another young rat gnawed with her strong jaws and ever-growing teeth at the edges of a hole in the wooden platform of the back porch, enlarging the hole just enough to squeeze inside. Several rats made their homes in the house's cavity walls, rotting floors and crumbling cellar. They enjoyed better access to stored food than their outdoor cousins, for the pantry consisted of open shelving without cabinet doors. They also transmitted fleas, mites, parasites and bacteria to one another more easily than their backyard cousins. Indoor rats faced more frequent confrontations with human residents, which often proved fatal for rats and sometimes injurious, infectious or deadly to people. So I really just love that excerpt because it places rats at the center of that urban story and you kind of get a sense and a feel for how rats navigate the city, what they're doing in their day-to-day -day lives, what their schedules are, who their families are. So with, with that in mind, here are some just interesting facts about rats. So rats are primarily nocturnal animals. Their teeth never stop growing. Their whiskers are extremely sensitive. And one of my favorite words of all time is thigomaxic, which means that they brush along, uh, they use their whiskers or their bodies to brush along walls to get a sense of the place. They have amazing senses. So rats' eyes can move in opposite directions. They have an exceptional sense of smell. In fact, they have over a thousand olfactory receptors. To, to give you a sense of what that means, humans only have about 400, whereas and dogs have just over 800. So because of this, rats have been used in a variety of settings. 
They've been used to work in clearing landmines in Mozambique, Cambodia, Zimbabwe, and Angola. And they've also been found to more quickly and more accurately identify TB than those working in a lab. And above all else, rats are extremely social animals. They live in small groups. They mourn the death of someone in their group. They, they're prone to depression if they don't have friends. And they're also prone to peer pressure. And cleaning is a really important social bond. So even though people think rats are really dirty, in fact, they're extremely clean and they'll spend hours and hours a day just cleaning one another. So, yeah, there are some really interesting facts and tidbits about rats. They are animals you don't necessarily see every day when you're walking in the city. Or maybe you do, I don't know. But I hope that you now think of rats as being much, much more than an animal that is associated with the bubonic plague. They have long, long histories stretching much further back than the, the Great Depression, and they just got a lot of interesting stuff going on. A huge thank you to Animals and Philosophy, Politics, Law and Ethics for sponsoring the Animal Turn podcast where these highlights were taken from. And another massive thank you to Christian Mentz for editing this episode. Thank you also goes to Rebecca Shen for designing the Animal Highlight logo and episode artwork. This is the Animal Highlight with me, Claudia Hurtenfelder. <laughs>